Hi, I'm Monty McKinnon. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to the frozen tundra. Today, it is minus two or 29 degrees Fahrenheit, and we've had snow. Last weekend, it was 30 degrees Celsius, or somewhere in the mid upper 80s. Like, make up your mind. You know, I think what we should do is trade the United States. What we do is you get 10 provinces, you can have them all, and we just take the state of Florida, and it becomes Can Floor or Can Florida, and, and that'll become our country, and you can have all the rest. At least it'll be warm down there. Anyway, welcome to my vlog. <laughs> And today we're going to talk about this and I'll talk about a special project that I've been working on as soon as we spin that intro. So let's do that and we'll come right back. Okay, we are back now. I have been working on another book and I have now finished writing the 65 chapters for that book and it is in the process of being edited now for the final edit and the formatting and all of that kind of good stuff. So I hope to have that ready by the summertime, which is only another month away. So that's the plan to make it available at some point in the summer. So that's what I've been doing. I've been working on that and it's been very long days, very long days. I've been extremely tired from doing it, but it's done. Will I do another one? Well, it's the second book in uh, Encouragement for Busy People series. So whether I do another one or not, I don't know. Uh, well, that's the way I see it is the first book. And uh, this is now the second in the series. So I hope you enjoy it. It's coming now. Let's talk about this. The body is done. I've, I've got binding all in place here. I've got the purfling in place. The purfling is a, a maple green maple. Yes, maple green maple. And I've got some shell down here. And I've got my corners here. Now there's four corners, right? I did one absolutely perfect, absolutely perfect. The other three, not so good, but that's that's what you get with a home build, but it's not going to affect the sound and I'm not too worried about it. I'm about ready to do the neck, but what I have done is I've taken this white marker and I've indicated here and here where the support piece is underneath this top. Now the grain is running this way, right? So the support piece, the grain is running this way. So what I'm debating on is number one, and I need to, I want to hear from you on this. And I may even do a poll on this, but here's the, here's the deal. Do I do a sound port? Yes or no. If I do a sound port, do I do an oval? Yes or no. If I do a sound port, should I do that geometric thing that you saw on the maple guitar with the funny little shapes and all of that? Should I do that again or something like that? Yes or no? So I'd really like to hear what you think, whether you think it's worth the effort. I can just leave that as it is, build a neck, and, and we got a guitar. This guitar is going to go in my living room, and it'll be for me to tinkle away on when I can. So let's talk about the shell, because I've got the shell in here. The shell comes from uh, MOP, Mother of Pearl. They're down in Australia. It's a great company and they supply the shell that I've used all around here. No, they don't sponsor me. I buy it and it's still good product whether you pay for it or not. Here is the uh, sandpaper. This is 120 grit. This is a 400. I'm very careful to sand this because I do not want the dark color from the Brazilian rosewood coming up on top of the light Sitka spruce here because it would push into the grain and make a bit of a mess and I don't want that. So what I've done is I took the French polish and I put a couple of applications of French polish on here. Just nothing special. This is not the beginning of my French polish of the guitar. I will be sanding this nice and smooth before I do that. But 
it's simply to protect it because when the dust comes up onto this, I can just swipe it off like that and it's, it's all good. So that's what you do. But I use this paper and I take my finger and I put my finger here as a stop and I get my thumb over top of it here so that I can just go around the edge of this and that will level the top of the shell because you you know you get different configurations there when it, when it sometimes they break and sometimes they don't but they all need sanding to be to be smooth now that works extremely well that's a 400 grit paper here this is 120 but this I have no idea what grit this is this is an emery board from a local uh, drugstore and all I do with this is the same thing. I've got the the dark, uh, heavier, the dark side is a more coarse grain. So I can take that like this, put my thumb under there, the same as with the paper, and I can just very nicely go across there like that. I can, oh, I can feel that digging in nicely. And that works. Oh yeah. Pardon me while I work away. Oh yes, that actually that took off quite a bit. Now I can do the same thing on the other side, which is a finer grit. Let's say this is the 120 and this is the 400. It's not, but let's let's just assume that. So I can now take the finer grit and do the same thing, and that helps. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. That helps keep the dust and everything off the top because I'm paranoid about that, I guess. I don't like that. So we've come to the point where the armrest is done. I will need to uh, make uh, some sanding down in here. I can feel a little bit of need for some, some it's a little tiny bit rough. But it worked out extremely well. It's got nice coloring. This is a light orange up in here that comes out of that Brazilian and that flame color. So it's all it's here and here and here. So when this is finally polished, it's gonna look just great. So that's where we're at. And and with the book and the guitar, I have been very, very busy. So that's it for me today. I'm going to finish my tea. I'm going upstairs and cry as I look out the window at all the snow. There won't be anything worth shoveling. By the way, here's a funny thing. Next door, they're putting shingles on the roof of the house, but they're not today because we had the snow and the rain and the cold and it's just too cold. So they were walking around here the other day, no shirt on, short pants, strong as a bull, and 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 today they're in toques and and hoodies and all that kind of thing, trying to stay warm. Oh, I just don't know about this country. I, I think it's a good deal. I think we should trade the United States ten provinces for one state. That sounds like a fair exchange to me. Think of all the extra fun you would have up here. You can come up fishing and, and whatnot. I assume we have fish. Well, that's it for me. Thank you so much for joining me and do check out the links for the Starbound glue down, down below here. And if you do, you will find if you order some, order the, the, the thin and the medium is what I've been using on this. Uh, if you buy that, make sure you get the debonder and you also get the accelerator. The accelerator hardens everything quickly, but the debonder, when you glue your fingers together, as I did putting the shell on here, you can get it, unscrew the top with the other hand, take the brush, paint your fingers until you can separate them, wash them, and, and then you're, you're good to go. So make sure you get the debonder. Check out Leo Santorelli. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Snow. Can't think of anything worse. Golf courses are open and it's snowing. Truthfully, it would not be the first time I've hit out of a bunker that was filled with snow and not sand. Well, I assume the sand was in there. You just couldn't see it, it was all filled with snow. <laughs> Oh, what a country.
What a crazy country.